lavender came into town, and yeah, I got my egg outfit on, but guess what? So does she. Haha, <laughs> yeah, these are our egg outfits, guys. And uh, yeah, say hi, lavender. Hi, everybody. I sure missed y'all, and I'm so glad to be here again for Easter with Lammy. I just love coming to the big city. Yeah, so anyway, guys, we are going to be dying Easter eggs. If any of you missed the phone call that Lavender and I had about a week ago, the link is in the description box below. You can watch that video where we had a video phone call and she said she was coming. So yeah, she wanted me to wait for her to dye the Easter eggs. So yeah, we've got our special egg outfits on just for the occasion. So yeah, we're gonna go over to the table and get started. I just can't wait. Alright guys, so here we are at the table and I'm gonna let mom take it away because Lavender and I do not want to get any of this dye on our fur, do we? Absolutely not. I don't really like baths either, Lemmy. Yeah, me neither. Anyway guys, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna let mom show you what kind of egg dyeing kit we got this year and I think you're really gonna like it. Lavender and I sure do. Yep, we sure do. Alright guys, let's get started. Come on Lavender, let's go sit to the side and watch. Alright. Okay everyone, so welcome to another year of dyeing eggs at Lammy's house. And this year we have a very special kit, which I'm sure some of you have seen in the stores, and it is the frozen egg dyeing kit. So of course Lammy wanted this. Of course. And so we decided that we were going to do this one this year. So what we've done already, just to prep to make this a little faster, is we've already added the water and vinegar to all of our egg cups. This is the tray that we'll be using after we dye them. We sit them down in there and there's all of our eggs. So let's open this up and see what we've got. There's the back of the box. If you wanna take a look at that. So let's open this up and see what we have. So first we have these little Olaf things. They're made of cardboard and you punch them out and you can make like a, uh, use one of the eggs to make like an Olaf thing. There's stickers in here I believe as well. Let me find those. So there is the Olaf little face things for you to put on the eggs. All right, so that's how we make Olaf. And then these are some other stickers that are in here. And there's more. These are very pretty. These have glitter on them. I don't know if you can really see the glitter, but these have glitter on them. And it's all the different characters. And then this is just two different egg stands. You uh, put these together and you sit the eggs down inside. So that's a cute little thing. And of course, it comes with the egg scooper, is what we call it. And of course, it has the little dye pellets. So I'm gonna put these in the water and we're gonna get started. Another note, guys, is underneath all of this stuff, we laid down this um, kind of plasticky rubber thing, so that way if any of the dye gets on anything, it doesn't get on the table or our tablecloth or anything. So it's good to have some newspaper down, placemats, something to protect the surface because these dyes can stain things. So be careful not to get it on your clothes and all that jazz. So here are the dye pellets, and we're just gonna start popping them into the little containers. So we have this one, orange. All right, so we're gonna let that start to dissolve. All right, guys, so we're gonna let those dissolve for a minute, and then uh, we'll be back and start dyeing the eggs. Ready? we're back because all of the pellets have dissolved, and we're going to take our egg scooper dipper thing we're gonna bend it like that, so that way we can use it like this. And we're gonna start putting the eggs in. So, let's just do this. All right guys, so the eggs have been in there for about five minutes, so I think they're nice and dark colored. And in the meantime, I put together these little uh, frozen egg holders. So I've got those and I put together the Olaf one, but we gotta wait for the eggs to be dry for us to put on the little Olaf mouth and all that jazz. So we're gonna do that in a little bit. Um, I'm gonna take these eggs out and put these other ones in and we'll be right back. All right guys, so the second set of eggs are in and this is the colors that we got from the um, dye. So this is a bluish color, like kind of like a teal blue. This one's more like a royal blue, so it's closer to purple. And then we have the yellow, the pink, and the green. So I like how nice they came out. And uh, yeah, we're gonna let these finish and uh, then we'll start decorating them. 
Okay guys, so this is the finished product of all the eggs. Now the weird part about this is, is the second batch of eggs that we did came out with like these swirly patterns on them and we're not too sure why. And the pink one here came out more like a pastel pink instead of a dark pink. So we're a little confused on why that happened, but it is what it is and they're still pretty. So we're gonna let them dry and then we'll decorate them. All right, so Lanny and Lavender are gonna kind of direct me on how they want me to decorate the eggs. They're still afraid to touch them because of the dye. They are dry, but they're still paranoid about it, aren't you? Yep, I sure am. All right, well, okay, fine. I will do this. Where do you, which one do you want to do the Olaf one with? Um, do it with the light blue color one. This one? Yeah, do it with that one. All right, so this is the one that kind of came out speckled. We're a little confused by that, but we're gonna sit that right there. And then we have these little stickers here that we are going to peel the backs off of and that will be his mouth there so that's his mouth and then we have his eyes eyes go there and then we've got the little twigs for his little hair at the top there we go so there's your olaf egg yeah, he's cute. yep all right so what ones do you want in here uh put a yellow one on the one on the left all right this one here How about this bright blue one? Yeah, it's pretty. There we go, so now we have those, and then the rest of them we can add these stickers to. Do you guys care what stickers I put on what? All right, so the rest of these stickers you guys could use for whatever you wanted. Lammy's gonna probably decorate with them or put them in her journal or notebook or what have you. Um, so yeah, why don't you guys come over and take a look at them? Cool. Alrighty guys, thank you for joining us once again to dye eggs. I really like this frozen themed one this year. What about you, Lavender? Oh yeah, I think it's mighty pretty. I really like them. Yeah, so now we're gonna wait for the Easter Bunny to come and hide our eggs. Ha ha ha. I hope he finds us at the new house. Oh, I think he will. I think they got some sort of, like, Easter Bunny GPS so they can find you if you moved. All right, cool, good. That's good to know. So anyway, yeah, there's a huge backyard we have now, guys, so who knows where he's gonna hide these eggs this year, ha huh? So anyway, guys, thank you for joining us for our egg decorating video. We will be shooting a video of us hunting Easter eggs. Uh, that video will probably not be up until um, Wednesday the 8th because on Sunday the 5th is when it's Easter and we probably will be spending time with family and friends and having dinner and things like that. So we probably won't be um, doing any filming or editing that day, but we will film the Easter egg hunt in the morning. So that video will be up on Wednesday the 8th. So anyway guys, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe. I have more videos coming. Lavender's gonna be here for another week. She said that she can stay through my birthday. Isn't that exciting? Yeah, Lammy, I'm so glad I get to stay. I didn't get to hang out with you for your birthday last year. I know. So yeah, this is pretty exciting, guys. So yeah, be sure to subscribe. Lavender's going to be in a few more videos. And all of my social media is in the description box below if you would like to uh, follow me on my social media. I'm very active there. So anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you, and have a happy Easter weekend. Bye, guys. I'll see you next time.